Hey everybody, I'm in the bus today and it's kind of fun. So what I'm doing is, I think I'm getting a little carried away, but I want to improve it. I want to make it a little nicer. And what I've got is a really ugly old carpet. So uh, I haven't seen any videos on doing carpets in a, an RV. I mean, very little. And I know carpet's not all that in vogue, but I think a nice carpet where the old carpet was, mainly it's the entry. And let me, well, let me show you. Change that panel. There's a little bit of carpet here on the other side. Obviously the carpet, this is the entry door, passenger seat, driver's seat. I'm gonna leave them. I'm just gonna put a slit in the carpet and go around the pedestal. So my crazy idea is this. I'm gonna take this carpet out and use it as a pattern, my new piece. And then I'll cut it to size, bring it in and put it down. I don't think it'll take that much to do that. I've already gone to the back of the bus and it was pretty easy to do. It didn't take much. It's roll and stapled on the front here edge where it meets the, uh, the tile, the marble. And the rest of it's all just tack. I'm gonna leave it. All right, now I'm gonna have to get these bolts out. I don't know what they are. I'm hoping they're just lags that go into the floor. <laughs> Cause it's a wood floor and that's what they had on this one. Of course, they didn't stay good. I don't know, we'll have to figure something out. Wow, I've turned this place into a dance hall. Look at that, I got that couch out of there. I got it set in the back, standing up. I took this, the futon out. And I got this guy to do yet. So I gotta be able to reach around there and, and get the bolts. It looks like all four bolts are going into the floor. Okay, this thing. Screw to the floor with the big lag screws. They're like a 3 8 lag screw. Here's an example right here. And, uh, man, I just tore it up out of the floor. So I'm thinking... As old as this thing is, these lag screws just weren't doing much. They're not catching into the plywood good. And they're all the rusty. Yeah, I just pulled it up and out. And there's three of them in there. So they weren't holding anything. So I'm going to have to figure out a way. I, I really don't want these just floating around. I want these things fastened down, kind of decent. I might put carriage bolts in them and then just drop them right through the floor because I should be able to get to that area in the bay down below. There it is. Looks to be a four inch carriage bolt. So that dropped down through there. So I'll get more carriage bolts, I think. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I'll bolt them in tight. I'm a little worried about if they start spinning, I won't be able to get them off. But, you know, that's less of a concern. And if, if something happened, if I had an accident or a rollover, man, I... The seats have just come rolling and flying around in here like projectiles. So that's something you got to be concerned about in one of these old RVs. Make sure things are bolted down in case you do have an accident. Of course, it's already had an accident. <laughs> I got this on Copart. <laughs> so yeah, it's already had one accident, which was the front end, this front corner. I have another video on some of that. I had a big hole in the front of the bus and I patched up all the fiberglass. I got, um, I got this carpet ripped up yesterday. I was in here for probably... I don't know, I think I worked about two hours. Wasn't that big a deal. So I got the couches out of here, and I got all that, and I got it stacked up over here. Like I said, it's about two hours work. But anyway, so I'm going to finish tearing up this carpet, and uh, then I'm going to use this carpet as a pattern to mark out the other. Now, I'll probably, I think I'm going to start taking up this threshold and taking off that stuff too, because I got to get rid of the carpet on the sides, both sides of the stairwell, and replace that. I'm not sure how they have that attached, but I have a couple different staplers I think will work for that. The original guys who did it had the same idea I got. They just cut around the seats, just like I'm gonna do. So that's really gonna work out good for me because I can really use this, this piece of carpet. I'll be able to use it for a pattern. Looks like I can't really show you everything that I like to. But yeah, this is what they did. They cut a slip back here to go around the pedestal of the seat. So I'm gonna do the same thing. In the meantime, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna keep pulling up carpet. I've got that pulled up around there. I'm gonna have to use some pliers or maybe a flat bar because I think they stapled it down underneath this seat. So but anyway, you can't really see under there good, but yeah, they staple it under the seat. They also did a nifty little thing where they went around the pedestal with some carpet. But it looks like a different carpet. I'm going to do the same thing. I'll just use the carpet I got because I'm going to have a little extra.
All right, so I tore out this piece of carpet. It's stapled everywhere with those little carpet staples. They're not real heavy or nothing. So I think I'm going to wind up using T50 staples because that's what I've got. Uh, I do have an air stapler. A lot of dirt and sand. Anyway, I'm going to clean that all up. Um, and this is what they did here. They've got like a little pad here and then it's uh, just a stick with, without the tack, without the tack list because um, they had it stapled down here. So that's what they did on the ends. And I noticed they don't roll and tuck it. See, that's what I've ever done. If, if I'd have done a spot like this, I just have the carpet a little longer and roll it under like about an inch, you know, just roll it and then staple it down. But these guys just staple it down here. So it's going to be kind of a quick facelift because I'm just going to throw down new carpet. I'm going to leave the old pad uh, unless it stinks or it's really rotten, but I, I don't think it is. What I've seen of it so far, it's pretty, pretty decent. Probably give it a quick slight uh, vacuuming and uh, call that old pad good. Well, there you have it. There's the date on it. 042307. That's when they changed this carpet last. So this being a 96, they want to go 11 years with the original carpet, which is probably the same as that down there. More of a gold, and then they replaced it with this. Now, I changed it up quite a bit. I'll show you once I get the carpet down. Looks like rolling it from the front to the back was the way to roll. So now I'm going to take it and drag it out of here. Take it out to my barn and use it for the pattern. Okay, I've rolled out my new piece of carpet. I got this from Liberty Carpet. It's my local carpet store, and I really like those people over there. They really went above and beyond, I think, because they cut it three times for me. Well, this is a 12 foot by 16 foot piece that was a remnant, and uh, I have less work to do, and I'm lucky. Uh, I got my barn floor I can lay this all out on. Now, what I did is I had some Luan sheets from an old job that are just laying around. So I threw them on my concrete floor and now I've got the old carpet laying on top of the new carpet. I got space around the edges on both sides. Wow, the more I walk on it, the more it walks around on me. It keeps moving back. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so I gotta, tug it. <laughs> I gotta tug it back that way a little bit. Well, I just, actually I think it's good enough because I wanna trim that out. I wanna cut around the seat pedestals. I wanna cut this shape out again because this shape was working around the pedals, around the steering column. I'm probably going to leave this extra material here because it'll just fold up and under, and that'll be fine. And the same thing here because there's space up in front there where that can just disappear up under the dashboard. I'm going to cut this box out for where the TV sets, and that's the stairwell. This side over here, I'm going to let this go past. I'll just cut that out completely. So, so this piece this folds down over. You can see where the bullnose was, and that's the edge where it folded down over. So I gotta make sure I keep that long. Maybe what I'll do, of course I gotta make a decision, because if I leave this long, I lose that corner. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just cut it the same way. Yep, that's what I'll do. I'll cut it the same way and do the bullnose. Okay, I made my cuts. I use this as a template, and I cut my new carpet, and most of the cuts I made a little wide. I got a big edge there I'm gonna trim. I'll put, cut that when I'm in there. That's a little bit tighter, you know. This one, I left a little extra meat there, and this, I extended that all the way. I extended this all the way, too, because I can just leave it or trim it or whatever. Uh, in front of the TV house, I left that long because I know I was short. I left it extra long, so I'll just trim it right in. And then it's a little bit, little bit tight here. I might have to trim it a little bit, and most of that I left a little wider. I, I think... Like this extra here, I think that'll tuck up in. If not, it's just a swipe away. Yeah, I can always, it's easier to cut twice than to cut too short once and then what? So <laughs> that's, that's my philosophy on that. And this I'll trim in. I'm gonna roll up the old carpet and get rid of it. And then uh, roll up the new carpet and take it on in the bus. So I'm gonna coil this up from this side. I'm gonna roll it up from this end to that end. So. When I put it in the bus, I'll put it down in the back and roll it to the front. And then I'll start putting the more, the tougher pieces in 
laying them in place. I should have just done the ballsy thing and cut it right to length instead of leaving that extra. Now it's just going to make it tough in here because it's one small room and I got to roll it out between the uh, walls. So we'll see how it goes. I'll probably have to struggle a little bit, but we'll give it a whirl. So I got it rolled up and I got it laid out. I got to tug it that way, get it up under the seats. Oh, I'm almost there. Huh. Well, that happened kind of quick. I don't know how it happened that quick. I don't remember tugging it that hard. Oh well. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, I always say. It does got to roll around that way now, so we'll give that a whirl. I always say that. We'll give that a whirl. I don't even know why I say it. But I do. Now, how am I going to tug this? I can't even get in there. That's why the tilt wheel is such a good idea. Whew. It's hot in the old bus. I think I get the air conditioner going. Yep. That's better. Oh, I should have cut that all the way. Got my knife, so I will. I'll have enough material here, that's for sure, around the dog. Not a dog house, it's a TV house. Okay. <laughs> I'm yelling at myself. Pretty hot in here. Jeepers. Solar gain, a lot of solar gain to that windshield. Whew, got to lose a shirt. Oh, by the way, the shirt's not pink, it's salmon. Yeah, it's important to know. Whew, okay. Kind of wish I could have taken these ch chairs out of the way. I guess I could have, but yeah, it's just a lot of work. I didn't think there was a payoff. So I think what I'm going to do now is the seat belts. I'll tuck all the seat belts up in. Got to find my, my slots I cut. Pull these seat belts through nice and even. And you know what else? I'm going to start on this end and work my way that way, don't I? Yes, sir. So this one first. There's two. I promise I'm not going to count each one off. <laughs> Nobody needs that. Tell you what, it smells a little fresher in here already. That carpet, it's kind of stinky. A little on the stinky side. Think about this carpet, okay. I got 200 bucks in this carpet. And it's going to be a full day of monkeying around with it. I can see that already. Especially once I get back to the bedroom. Of course, that's going to be easy piece of cake compared to this. Anyway, the, walking in here, and the first thing you notice is the carpet is so gross. So that, that was just that was just like the thing I wanted to change. So that's what I'm going to change. As far as like the window treatments and stuff, they're not great either, and they're dated. But eh, I'm going to embrace the '90s. I'm going to try to have a little fun with this thing. I don't need it to be a perfect RV. Now, there are guys who do. I mean, I'm watching the, this one guy I've been watching on uh, YouTube. He's got a fairly new channel, Brian's RVs, and that guy's a pro. I mean, it, you can tell. Like, he knows what he's talking about. He knows RVs. He's working on really nice ones. He's got one that's an older one, too, but a nicer shape than this one, I hate to admit. Actually, I don't. I don't really care that much. Okay, with any luck, I got this wall hooked into that tackless strip. Then I'm going to set up over here. I'll pull away from the wall and try to kick it over. Let me see if I can show you. I'm just going to roll this carpet up like this away from the wall. I'll get a foot in here, another foot here, and I'll just try to kick it over. I'm probably shaking the camera. Oh, I am. But it is kicking it over. And it seems to be hooking. Try to get it a little tighter that way. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Well, it's not all hooked everywhere. Carpet, carpet guys earn their money, I gotta say. Even though I'm not a carpet pro, it's starting to look pretty good. So, I got it worked around there. I still have some work to do around the pedals and around the te television set and obviously around here. And then I'll uh, keep going at it, I guess. Okay, I've got it trimmed out here. I think I'm gonna do a roll and tuck. I'm just gonna, I just rolled it under. Like, I left it about an inch long, slice it on the ends, on each end, so I could roll it. And now I'm just gonna, take my staple gun and staple it down. I think that's going to be a good look for that. I'll keep it tight there. I think that's going to look good.
Well, that's it. It's as good as it's going to look. There's a little piece of blue sticking out there driving me a little nuts, but I think I'm going to like that good enough. Now I'm going to take the other staple gun, the smaller one with the T-50s. I'm going to tack around by my pedals and stuff so all that stays down. There's no way to have a tackless strip there, so I'm going to tack that down with the smaller staple gun. Yep, nice. Let's hold it. Nope, gotta go to the bigger staples. It's okay, I'll just throw a couple of them in there. Yeah, that'll just keep it down to where it looks good, okay. Good enough, I think that's okay. Trimming out the, uh, against the wall. Can hardly wait to do this. I think I'm gonna break down and put in a new knife. These are Lennox. I think I like these better than the other ones I usually get. The uh, Lennox seems to be good stuff. These are the ones that they say Lennox Gold. Seem to last longer. It started out a lot sharper. So I'm gonna throw this knife in here, hopefully without cutting myself. See how we'll see what a new blade does. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Oh yeah, that knife is nice. I don't want to cut into the wall. I also don't want to put up baseboard to hide a messy cut. Pretty good. A little far from the wall there, but I'll stretch it over to it a little bit. Actually, for what it is, it's gonna look good. Let me show you. Not bad. I mean, if we were putting down a quarter around it, that would doll it right up nice. But yeah, well, who knows? Well, no, it probably won't because I'm putting a sofa here. So I got that trimmed in pretty nice. And I got this pretty nice. Looks like it could go forward a little bit. I think that's gonna live like that. And then this, I'm gonna staple that down. That'll be nice. Then I'll trim that out. Here we are, we're looking pretty decent. Now it's time to start working over here. I'm gonna do some stuff. I gotta trim out the steps too. But I got patterns, so that's great. Just pretty much cut the patterns and slap them up and staple them on. It should be about done. That's gonna look good when I get done. All right, thanks guys.